Hey Libra Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rolls if you need to. Who's showing up in your energy romantically? Who's in your energy right now? Thinking about you. I'm sorry and unsolicited advice. I need to apologize for what I did. I'm certain I know I know best. I'd hate to say I told you so. Somebody got some bad advice here and they want to apologize. Or somebody is a know-it-all. We have great news. I have something amazing to tell you. So I do feel like someone wants to talk to you. Starting with an apology. Um, but maybe they took some bad advice from someone. Or maybe they're like realizing that they were arrogant and a know-it-all. Okay. Happens. It happens. One card. Thank you, spirit. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Just one card. Lord. I'm going to take this one because I feel like I need to. I will protect and defend our love. So I feel like this is somebody ready to fight for you. Maybe other people were trying to come between you. Y'all know you got karmic family members and friends. We create a safe haven for authenticity where we share our deepest thoughts and feelings, nurturing a bond that is real and profound. So somebody feel like you're the real deal, holy field, and they let somebody come between you two and they feel crazy. Okay. So let's see. I am patient and understanding. I am embracing the adventure of love with an open heart. Write a letter to your future partner expressing your hopes and intentions for the beautiful journey of love you're embarking upon. How will you work to nurture patience within a partnership and understanding during disagreement? So yeah, I feel like this is somebody you're having a disagreement with. Um, both of you feel like you could be opening up your hearts to one another, blocking out distractions and all of that. I am eager to learn and evolve through love. Describe the qualities you believe a loving relationship would help you develop or enhance within yourself. So I feel like there is some desire to heal here, okay? It says great news. They have something good to tell you. And it could just be that they've learned a lesson that they realized they were listening to the wrong people. You don't know how that can be. Okay, what's your energy right now? Salmon, expression, fellowship, individuality, and compassion. So I feel like you're willing to talk to this person. I feel like you are compassionate. You are willing to sit down with them, break bread with them, have a conversation with them, and hear them out. Their energy is red, passion, energy, action, and strength. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, so they're on fire for you. Nice. Nice. I ain't mad at that at all. So let's get into these cards. What's going on here? Passage. Mm -mm. I just heard a turning point. <clears throat> Something is changing. Union. They might be popping the question. If y'all are not already married, somebody could be renewing their vows. Or just coming back into union with your person. Legacy. Wow, they want to build an empire with you. Position you've inherited and what you leave behind. This could also be their family, like meddling. They could come from like a big family or just a tight-knit family where, you know, y'all know how that can be. <laughs> Because I do feel like they listen to somebody. They got some unsolicited advice. This could be a Virgo. I was going to say y'all could be on a Virgo Libra cusp before. But, um, I don't know. Let's see. We have hunting, stalking, prey on the prowl, and searching for meaning. So, yeah, this person is going to be on your heels. Could be a Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, we have consume. Learn fast. Take things in. Acquiring wealth and power. Somebody really wants to build a legacy with you. Show me passage. What's changing here? Because this feels like you two are crossing into like a new, a whole new world with each other. This bridge right here feels like you're moving into a better space with each other. Judgment. Yes, yeah, somebody has learned a lesson. Wow. Scorpio energy. They want a resolution. They want to heal. Okay. This person wants your forgiveness. Okay, they want to be honest with you. They want to make amends. They want to right their wrongs. This has been a learning curve for this person. Oh, yeah. They definitely want to talk. King of Swords. So this person has been objective now. Something they started to see about the people around them. This could also be the advice that they were given, though. Aquarius energy. Hmm. One more. 
So I feel like this person wants to be more honest with you. Yeah, they want to make peace. This is reconciliation. Okay? It's also divine timing. So this is something very spiritual with the judgment card and the temperance being here. This is a very spiritual card. So this person is practicing a lot of discipline, being very trusting, trustworthy, rather. Um, they're trying to come in in a very calm energy to restore balance to your connection. This person has learned to get control over the extremes that were there before. Maybe they gave unsolicited advice. Maybe they thought they were the boss of this. Because the king of swords can be, you know, <laughs> that way. Kind of emotionally detached, cold, um, emotionally unavailable. But they've learned their lesson and they want to make peace with you. Sagittarius energy. Okay, show me this union. You got the three of pentacles. They want to marry you. The high priestess and the knight of cups is a proposal, y'all. Oh, my God. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn for some of you. Some of you can work with this person. They could even want to go to counseling here, especially of the spiritual nature. I feel like they've definitely learned some lessons here. They're finding more balance in their life. They're ready to heal this connection. Somebody could be secretly like getting advice. Because this is adjudication. This card talks about learning a lesson as well. Um, it's a learning curve. I feel like this person has been doing a lot of spiritual work and they're also listening to their intuition. They're very tapped in. This is a this is like a person giving you a lot of um sending you a lot of telepathic messages and things like that. You could be dreaming about this person a lot. Mm hmm You sure could. Show me legacy. So what's going on with this family dynamic? Because I feel like the family could have come between you two in some cases. Or this is somebody that wants to build a family with you. Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. They want to have a date. They want to get you pregnant. That's a card of fertility. Conception. Okay. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and the Fool. Wow. So this person is ready to take a big leap of faith and start brand new with you. They want to renew this passion. Could be an Aquarius or a fire sign. Leo, every Sagittarius. Wow. They're leaving behind baggage. They want a fresh start. A blank canvas. A clean slate. So Aquarius, Leo, every Sagittarius. What else? Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody thinking long term. Capricorn energy. I feel like they're releasing something that they were holding on to. Could even be another relationship. Somebody they have a child with or something. Maybe they were afraid that this person was going to take their money or something. Child support, whatever it might be. What's hunting, stalking, prey, on the prowl, and searching for meaning? The Five of Swords. Aquarius Energy. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is other people creating drama. Ace of Pentacles. This person wants a new opportunity with you. They want to offer you something stable. I feel like they feel defeated without you. They've definitely learned some kind of lesson because they sabotage this connection. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Cancer Energy, Two of Cups. And then the six of wands. So this person only has eyes for you. I'm hearing, I only have eyes for you. Mm -hmm. This is somebody making an offer to you, maybe even apologizing to you, maybe because of some things that they said. But I do feel like, yeah, this unsolicited advice, it says they need to apologize. And I'm seeing a couple of apologies cards here. The temperance, the, um, the judgment card. I feel like this is somebody that feels like they missed an opportunity with you that wants to come back into union with you you do have union here this is somebody thinking about marriage and they have you on a pedestal right now like they really admire the way you carry yourself leo energy yep towards virgo capricorn okay let's get some oracle cards and see what they will want to say none of them compare to you Mm. they're holding me back from you for some of you this is like karmics or family members that could be karmic it doesn't have to be romantic but it could be um but they're breaking free from that 
You crush my ego and pride, humility. Wow. I feel like they've seen you get a lot of attention since you two split, but they feel like you're their person and they're not giving up. This person wants to be loyal now. They feel like they want relationship renewal and they have good intentions. Our connection is spiritual and divine, a sacred union. You do have a union here and it is clarified by the high priestess, which is a sacred. She represents the half of the sacred union. The hierophant is her counterpart. Didn't come out, but it doesn't matter. Reciprocity, reciprocity and settling down. This is what they want with you. Is that five? Yeah, so bottom of the deck, we have reality check, wake up call. I told you they learned a lesson. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all all next time. Peace.